Tony Peterson here for top five rock lists and uh, once again I'm I'm out here uh, got a real nice location to be working at as I'm doing this these lists and um, today what I'm going to do is my top five favorite rock concerts um, it's going to be difficult I'm probably going to regret that I left something or somebody off at some point but uh, uh, you know uh, I'm old and I've gone to a lot of shows um, so it's going to be difficult but um, I'm going to do going to uh, document it as best as I can my top five favorites um, let's see so let's go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead and start with my number five. I'm going by memory here, so I'm trying to remember which one I even... Let's go from the top and work our way back, because that's... I, uh, you know, I just kind of uh, sorted this out in my brain, and I, I remember my top ones <laughs> I was talking about a little bit better than my bottom ones. So, um, number one on my list is a, is a show that... You know, when I was young, we used to uh, get out of school and go up to the, uh, go down to the auditorium, the city auditorium, and try and get there by 3.30 or 4. This was before, you know, everything was reserved seating. This was when they had the, uh, they called it general admission, where, um, you know, you got a ticket in wherever you, uh, wherever you could Whoever got there soonest would get the best seats. So we used to get out of school and um, we used to get out of school and and get down there and at about three or four with, uh, I don't know, a bottle of booze or something like that and uh, s stick it in our boot or whatever we were wearing at the time and um, just sit and wait for, the, for them to open the doors and then we would run in. So we... Uh, Anyway, so what happened was I got, we, the, my number one show is Boston. And, you know, sometimes at the end of the day, sometimes when the show was over, I would be a little bit, I would just be worn out. Uh, you know, there were, there were a lot of shows where I'd be like thinking, uh, you know, I feel like I, I could, I would like this show to be just about over. <laughs> but this particular show, 1979, uh, I remember leaving the show and thinking, um, you know, I wish that they could play more. I wish that I could see more of this band. So, you know, for all these years, um, I've always considered that the best concert that I'd ever seen. Um, you know, I, uh, Boston is not my favorite band. Uh, I really liked them a lot, especially when I was in... Hmm, eighth ninth grade when that first album came out you know that was that was just huge but um that was just i think it was just a magical night i think that boston was on top of their game you know i had heard that in in years past that a lot of those bands boston and electric light orchestra and a few other bands had um you know they were playing they were kind of playing a karaoke type show but I couldn't see it back then, and for me, that's my number one favorite show. Number two on my list is my first concert of all time, and that's Alice Cooper, 1977. I was 14 years old, and um, that was where I learned how to get up to the front, and from that point on, I always... The guys that I went with knew how to do it. They were a couple of years older than me, and they knew how to do it. And from that point on, if you wanted to go to a show with me, you had to get up front. So I had no idea. You know, I, I, I had listened to Alice Cooper, um, you know, stuff that was played on the radio. I didn't have any of his albums. <clears throat> um, I didn't know what he looked like. We didn't have the Internet. Um, there weren't a lot of... Uh, you know, he wasn't coming on American Bandstand. Uh, 
<laughs> or a lot of TV shows at the time, you know. Um, I, I didn't know anything about what kind of show it was going to be. So he comes out. <clears throat> and he's got he's wrestling monsters he's chopping off his head he's got giant snakes out there you know he's got a he's jumping on the back of this giant cyclops monster and and it was terrifying and exhilarating at the same time you know I, uh, as a 14 year old kid I who didn't know anything about concerts didn't know anything about anything um, I thought this show this all this stuff was gonna come out into the audience at any time it just it just it just had that it just had that vibe about it and it was incredible uh that's my number two number three on my list is a show in 1990 um, I'm going with, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, Little Richard and Jerry Lee Lewis. I saw them together in 1990 at a casino in Council Bluffs, Iowa, and I went with my mother and a bunch of people from my neighborhood. And I, you know, I didn't know if it was going to be anything or not. <laughs> if it was going to be anything good or not but so what happened was uh little richard came out and he came out first and they basically had to kind of carry him up to the piano and he had like an axe to grind or something with jerry lee lewis i don't know if they had been touring for a while or i don't know what happened but he obviously had an axe to grind with Jerry Lee Lewis. And so he kept playing and kept playing and kept playing. I think he played for two, two and a half hours. And by the time, and it was incredible. It was amazing. Uh, you know, I mean, we were just a sweaty dancing mess. Uh, and then by the time Jerry Lee Lewis came out, he was angry. <laughs> and the killer was angry. He was drunk out of his head and angry. And he was yelling at his band for, uh, you know, once again, he, uh, you know, it was all this entire night was nothing but attitude from these two guys. And they were trying to show each other up. And I think that's what made it so great. And then Jerry Lee Lewis came out and he played at least two hours probably two and a half hours he wasn't going to be topped by little richard and oh we got out of there midnight one o'clock in the morning or something like that and these old guys and they were old you know they were uh, 1990 i guess they were uh what in their mid-60s probably and these old guys just tore us up so that's my number three. Number two on my list is, um, I'm going to say Los Lobos in uh, the Exarban Ballroom in Omaha, Nebraska. And this was about 1986. And uh, it seemed like that was also another night where they just seemed to have something to prove. Um, I think, it, you know... It, a lot of these shows that I'm talking about are probably just circumstantial. You know, it just happened to be I caught them at the right night at the right time. But wow, I mean, they melted my face off. That David Hidalgo can play the guitar. They did a cover of uh, a CCR song, Born on the Bayou, and melted my face off. I mean, <laughs> unbelievable so uh once again i left that place a sweaty mess i went with my wife then who was my girlfriend at the time and she kind of sat she went back and sat up at the, in the tables and of course i got up up at the front all by myself but oh man what a show so um what did i say that was yeah that was about 86 and then another one of my favorite shows also comes about mm, i want to say it was about 
1995, and uh, this was a, I'm going to say just a specific band in this one. It was a, uh, it was a music festival for the radio station Z92 here in town, and uh, it was ZZ Top, the Allman Brothers, and uh, Sister Hazel. Sister Hazel opened, then the Allman Brothers, and then ZZ Top, and um, Dickie Betts played like he had something to prove that night. That was probably the best guitar night of my life. I'm standing in front of Dickie Betts, and he's doing this thing where he's grimacing. He's just, he's just like gritting his, he's gritting his teeth, and he's just going and going and going and going and going. And it's supposed to be back and forth between him and the other, uh, I think it was Warren Haynes was the other guitar player. I can't remember. Um, they're going back and forth and back and forth. And uh, and every time it was supposed to go over to Warren, Dickie would keep going and keep going. And he was just, oh, he was on fire. So that was probably my number five favorite concert. Later on, I'll probably want to amend this and uh, decide that I've, I've made the wrong type of decisions or something like that. But anyway, what do you think about where I'm at here working out here today? I'm out here by the golf course. Uh, big old houses, huh? Anyway, so um, this is Tony Peterson with the Top 5 Rock List. Uh, please subscribe and um, comment and like this video. Um, be polite with your comments and I appreciate it. Have a good day.